Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. And yes, okay, we get a DBS alert. There is a Yoshi egg. Oh my gosh. I just don't understand why that alert just isn't going. I, I I don't know. Maybe it wants me to use Yoshi to get blue coins. I don't know. This this alert has been coming like ever since it's shown up. It's it's just been appearing every single time. So I got a few things to do before we start Pianta Village. Um, I want to check the map because I I I I, I um. Uh, I found something new, I guess, uh, which is new to me. So if you uh, click on the Pianta here, it'll actually tell you about Piantas. Pianta, the mountain people. These mountain folk are strong, sociable and curious. The trees on their heads provide relief from the island's heat. A pretty cool design. I do like the design of the Piantas. And what else uh, can I click on? I've forgotten. I think it's the... Um, uh, up here, is it? Yeah. Origin of power, Shine Sprite. The revered symbols of Isle Delfino normally gather at the Shine Gate. Their collective power sustains the island. Oh my gosh. Awful reading comprehension. Let's just check our Shine Sprites. So yeah, uh, Pianta Village is pretty much the last main stage of the game. Uh, so yep, awesome. And I am going to trade in the 30 blue coins that I got. Uh... So that will add three more onto uh, Delfino Plaza's uh, uh, Shine Sprite total. Not going to read uh, this. I've already read it before and it says the same thing. So we now have 85 Shine Sprites. Yahee! So uh, we're going to be in to Pianta Village now. Uh, remember how... Uh, well, can you see the Shine Gate there? Can you see the pipe? I don't know why you're showing this uh, uh, this uh, event still, because we're done with Noki Bay. So to get to Pianta Village, we are going to need the rock and also. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, the Pianta Village entrance is um, from the pipe on top of the Shine Gate. Uh, we, I, I don't know why I'm showing you now. We'll get up there. And uh, yeah, this the event for Pianta Village to get into it appears after collecting 30 Shine Sprites, which uh, we done a long time ago, so we've already seen the event this. I, I, I at the time the event came up, I thought it was one of the, um, I thought it was for one of the uh, Shine Sprites of uh, Delfino Plaza, so yeah, but this is actually the opening to uh, Pianta Village, so let's head in and start the level. A pretty annoying stage. I don't know. I kind of like it. I actually really like it, but it has some annoying moments. Pianta Village, episode one. Chain Chomplets Unchained. So this one's a pretty fun episode. Such a beautiful stage. So this stage is kind of interesting in that uh, you can do uh, some of the episodes in, in daytime and some of the episodes in nighttime. So this one is at night. It's pretty cool, I think. So it kind of has like, um, like th there's the village and then there has like an underside to the village as well. Which is so annoying, I hate it. But oh well, we won't be going there now anyway. This is the mayor of Pianta Village. Hey mister, you think you could spare us a hand here? This dear lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage. No, not the bees, they seem to be acting normal. Okay, this is the woman who's, um, uh, you know, chain chomplets are going crazy. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Completely awful. My little darlings have nasty fevers and it's driving them mad. Normally I grab their tails and spike them into the ground. But they're too hot to touch now. Oh, it burns me up. Woohoo! I don't understand why she throws you. Like, why are you taking it out of me? Let me just stop you. Gramps is just so slow. He left for the spring ages ago and he hasn't returned. Not that it's weird. He pretty much does that every night. Where's the spring? Center of the village, base of the big tree. So yeah, that's kind of like, um, I, I wouldn't say it's so much as a hint because we don't really know what we have to do. Uh, we have to uh, cool down the chain chomplets and of course we have to use the spring to do it. So I'm I'm going to speak to everyone I come across, but I'm not going to go out. To, there's a lot of piantas to talk to in this level. I'm not going to go out to my way to talk to everyone. I'll just talk to the ones I'm near at the time. We have nothing to do with these, uh, to do with those crazy chain chomplets. So leave us alone. You got that, Mister? Okay. Uh, these piantas, man. What do you want? Would you just stay out of my way? Damn, they're unfriendly. Oh, you've knocked me down here, huh? 
tell you what, I'm gonna take that. Almost fell off again. Karma has not defeated me. So yeah, you at the chain chomplets. I'm going to do the camera. It seems that someone is lacking the proper training, indeed. So you at the chain chomplets. Pretty uh, cute, uh, cute uh, enemies. I really like them. So uh, I'm gonna. If you go in the group, it will burn you like that. So I'm gonna squirt run, uh, squ squirt them and one. I try to mix in. I'm gonna squirt one, and I want it to follow me. Until I get to all these boxes, and this is the spring we need to use to cool them down. So when they're near the spring, um, keep spraying them until they're completely cooled. And you can tell because, you know, their bodies won't be red and be black. So pull their tails back. And then let go. And they will go into the uh, spring to cool off. And they're actually grey. Uh, which is kind of cute. Hello, this is the grandpa that woman was talking about at the entrance. Oh, so comfy, so nice. So relaxing, this is cool. The spring always hits the spot, it's completely refreshing. No better place to cool down than right here, yep. I guess I turned into Elvis a little bit there. <laughs> oh cool, man. Uh, so, oh, you're in a... Oh, wow, 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 wow. You're in a good spot for me, actually. You almost fell into... <gasps> no, 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 quick, quick, quick. I can get the other one very quickly. You don't even have to pull their tails back that much. And uh, they'll go flying, so let's cool you off. And they'll try and get away, you ain't getting away. Damn it. Uh, actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this because uh, the goop is going to hurt me. Will you? Yes, it's done. Remember, always be kind to your pets. So, yeah, all three are in there now. And the shine sprite will appear. So, it's a pretty easy episode. Uh, I like it. Though. I like the uh, chain chomplets. They're adorable. Where they're just, like, in the water now. And sparkling, so cute. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to show you in this episode before we're done? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't really need to speak to anyone else. Yeah, let's just get the shine sprite. But, um... Uh, yeah, uh, for the nozzles, the turbo nozzle and the rocket nozzle, they do not appear until episode 8, so we don't need to worry about them for a while. And an event will actually happen uh, while we're doing Pianta Village. And we have to do it before we finish off the last episode of Pianta Village. So again, you're showing that event and I do not know why. So it looks like 50 lives is not the cap. Because uh, I've been past there while uh, practicing. Uh, what have we got to say? Yes, same thing, DBS alert. So guess who we're going to battle now? Huh? 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 <laughs> it's El Piantissimo. So uh, I thought this was difficult uh, when I was thinking in my head, thinking back of it. But it's really not that difficult. It's actually quite easy. And this, and yeah, and this, we're in the daytime now. It, I mean, it's daytime. Um, yeah, this is the last race with El Piantissimo. Be careful if you slide across like that across the bridge using the water because you will go through it. I assume it's like. Uh, because there's, there can be tiny holes like that, uh, Mario will just phase through them. It's weird. <laughs> it's me, El Piantissimo. And now, listen. And now, listen. See that flag over there? It's all the way up at the big tree there. You don't need to worry about sliding off the tree. Mario has really good grip when it comes to uh, walking on the trees. Now, you and I shall race to get there the fastest. Yes. My personal record is 30, 30 seconds. Impressive, eh? Are you at the ready? Then get get set and go. So I do want to uh, say something before I actually uh, start the race. Do not worry about El Piantissimo, like where he is in the race. Do not focus on him. All you got to know is that El Piantissimo will take 30 seconds to get to the flagpole. So as long as you just keep an eye on the timer, as long as you get there before uh, 30 seconds, you, El Piantissimo will not beat you. So when I jump over this fence, I'm going to do the squirting thing like this and then head straight through these piantas. Jump off near the, uh, um, you know, this bath area here. Triple jump and then I'm just going to walk up the tree and win. <laughs> it's so easy. But I do enjoy the races with El Piantismo. I think Gelato Beach is actually the hardest one. And I'll talk to you while El Piantismo is coming. He'll still uh, run while you're talking to her. Nice job. Wow, you must be tired. Nope, I'm not actually. Flood done all the work for me. My stomach hurts all from sliding on it. Grr, yes. Grr, that was not so bad. You are quick. Yes. I suppose maybe I underestimated, I under, I underestimated you a small bit, perhaps. I try again after I practice more. Until then. 
You have given me the shine sprite. You do realize you're breaking the law by not giving me the shine sprite, huh? El Piantissimo? That is all I have to say to you now. That is all I have to say to you. Now be off. So yeah, that is the last thing he will ever say. So I almost side flipped off the tree. Ugh. But that isn't the last we will see of El Piantissimo. We don't have any more races for, with him, but that won't be the last time we will see him. So this next episode sucks. Um, I don't like it. it I mean, I, I, I'm good enough for it that, you know, it's not hard. But uh, it's still rather annoying. So uh, there are four ways. Uh, to do to get to the destination we need to in this uh, episode so I'm gonna show you all four ways the fourth way might be a bit inconsistent uh, because I'm not that good with it so we are on an episode 3 the goopy inferno so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the proper way first so yeah flood will get taken from us by Shadow Mario that is a good job by Shadow Mario uh, that was rather unex unexpected because we are not uh, in a secret level so we have to get to this golden uh, mushroom with the and save the mayor. And as you can see, Flood was just below him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we and the entire place has been filled with lava goop. So we can't just walk over to it. As you can see, I hate these wind spirits, man. I don't understand why you put three wind spirits there. Should I talk to everyone? Uh, I might as well. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, the entire place is filled with goop, and we need to get over to there, where the, the mayor isn't moving. I never noticed on the old uh, Nintendo GameCube version where the uh, models do not move if you're so far away. Strange. I think it only happens when they're shaking goop off them. Um, so yeah, the, I'll show you the regular method first to get to him. Then I will show you the totally awesome method i got my uh, finger finger quotes air quotes i say because uh, that's what the primer guy calls it and i will show you the uh lovely method i think it was called and i will show you a method i learned off a walkthrough and that is jumping from the tree to it so is it worth talking to all of you uh i don't think it is i hope everything's gonna be okay yeah i assume they're all just gonna be like uh you know what something's happened help so uh we need to get on the underside of pianta village so head to the right uh and you will see like remember when uh oh uh what was it episode two i got knocked into the hole by that nasty couple uh like this so do not drop into this hole uh you know which one's the right one because a pianta will be standing uh standing beside it so if you go into one of the wrong ones it will take you to a dead end basically it'll take you to an area on the map where it's filled with lava and you have to go all the way back so this is the right one here this should lead you to the mayor at least i think so you can move you can move some gates with y this may help but if you try to cling on for too long the gate will fall off you'll have to jump to safety at some point so be careful okay i will i'm right next to the um uh, spring i guess uh, here, so let's go down into the underside of Pianta Village. So be careful here. Uh, if you know you don't want to be pressing X to drop off or Y, I think it is. And there are red electro co uh, Coopers and Clamors. And okay, that was dangerous, man. Oh my gosh. But uh, we're going to be coming to these gates, and like that Pianta said, uh, we can punch these. And the clamors can go through them, by the way, so be careful. We're going to punch this, and it's going to go forward. And it will drop off at the end. So make sure you jump up like that quickly before it falls. Uh, I, I'm sorry, the camera might be a bit funkier because I'm not used to the inverted uh, controls. Like up is down, down is up. Uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to drop you. And I don't like this part. We're going to jump on these... <gasps> Toad. Oh yeah, it's a bounce when you jump off our swing. We're gonna be uh, traversing these uh, toad stools down here now. We want to get over to here. And there's a constant wind sound in the underside. It sounds like a wind spirit is constantly flying around. Uh, I don't know. Weird. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get that life. Uh, to get that life, you have to go through that gate then and jump up. And I think you have to walk. I, I don't know how to get back down into here from... Um, up there, I think you have actually. Uh, I think you actually have to walk across the, um, you know, the bamboo that's holding this gate. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that uh, uh, in the future. Whoa, clamor! 
And now I want to get over to here. So yeah, the gold coins are your friends. They will show you where to go. Uh, do not go into the lava, Mario. Uh, yeah, can you see the uh, like holes in the goop now? Uh, we need to traverse this way. But we will be making our own path in the lavaly way. And watch out for the uh, soup and stews. So go up this platform and flood. Oh, and be careful. There's cuckoos here that are pooping out lava goop. What the hell, man? They've evolved. So yeah, flood is right here. Um, you know, on the, on top of the air. And we have to side flip. Damn it. I want to get side flip out here. What the hell? I, I'm not Andre, so I don't know why I'm hitting it. Oh, well, that's weird. That's a rather annoying jump, but uh, clean the mayor. Actually, I'm sure do uh, Pianta Village fully yet, so that is it in all its goopy glory. Pretty awesome, so let's talk to you. Whew, you saved me. Thanks a bundle, man. I I don't know how I survived lava, but I did. I, I think Pianta... Pianta's... Piantas to me are kind of like the uh, Gorons of the Super Mario universe. I don't know why, they always remind me of Gorons. You know, Gorons from The Legend of Zelda. The rock people. So, uh, shall I? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you the other methods now. So I may not be successful the first time. So I'll just uh, cut to when I, <laughs> whenever I'm successful. So I'm gonna show you the totally awesome way. Oh, I went on the wrong one. Damn it. Okay. Wait a sec. I didn't mean to click on this, so I'm just going to skip this and exit the stage. I shall see you in episode 3 again. <laughs> okay. So, I just failed uh, doing the... To um, I just failed doing the totally awesome method, and I'm under the map because I kept falling and I did not die. So, what the hell, game? I'm, I'm completely under the map and this tree is big man tree goes all the way okay I'm, I'm, I'm I'll see you again this is weird <laughs> okay I think I'm not gonna have I I think I'm not gonna be able to do this method so I'll, I'll, I'll before I try it again I'll just uh, show you if I don't do it this time I'm not gonna bother doing it it's it's way too difficult and the method just seems so uh, you know Pointless compared to the regular version, really. So, uh, you need to uh, traverse across these mushrooms. And you need to get to the cage there. I'll zoom in on it. And pretty much, you you pretty much skip uh, a few minutes of the regular method. So, uh, yeah, if I can't do it this time, I'm just going to skip to the uh, lovely method. I cannot do this. This is for pro players, damn it. So, um, I need to side flip and then spin jump uh, to get over to each mushroom. And these wind spirits do not make it easy for you. Which is really annoying. I can't judge how uh, far I can go to the edge here. Yeah, I I, I just don't think uh, you can get over there that way. Uh, oh, it's, it's so precise that, um, you know, it, it's just so pointless. I tried to get to both the yellow and black mushroom and that one, and I I just seem so far away. So, uh, yeah, I I I'll admit it, I cannot do that method. <laughs> so, uh, but you can do it though. Um, but I just cannot. Uh, I am going to show you the lovely method now. So the lovely method is much easier, although you may take quite a lot of damage. We're pretty much going to, going to be... I hate you toadstools so much. Uh, I'm going to be uh, basically using the water. Oh, I don't want to be losing life here. I hate these wind spirits. I just don't know why they put so many of them there. So annoying. So we're going to be heading to the right here. And be careful here because you can actually get a um, blue coin. And it is under this bridge. Can you see the blue coin there? Uh, you can swim under if you want. I am going to jump on this railing. Oh no, no, I'm not going to jump on the railing. That's dangerous, actually. I'm going to uh, squeeze through here. I'm going to side flip and then spin jump into the uh, water on the other side. Okay, I, gu I guess I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, you suck. Okay, I'll see you back there in a second. Oh! I can't do this method either. I'm losing my lives. I can't do this method. 
Uh, if I can't do it this time, I'm just... You know what? I'm just going to swim under. <laughs> I'm not the... You can side flip and uh, spin jump to you, but it's just... Since I'm recording now, it just doesn't want to do it for me. I, my skills have just diminished. So, uh, stay in this spring. So, when you get into this spring here, uh, we need to get to that platform straight ahead where the gold coin is. Basically, jump out and the water will... Uh, you will take some damage, but uh, the water will um, clear a path, <laughs> basically. So, uh, I actually want to get rid of this. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got rid of it now. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to be clearing a path like this. You can't do it all the way. Uh, so I'm going to go in a little bit and then side flip out like that. That's definitely not far in enough. And yeah, soup and stews will come and uh, dirty the place again. But uh, uh, don't worry about them too much. I, th I think I'm not running in far enough. I think that may be enough. I don't know though. Uh, maybe? Uh, I do want to just get me clear a little... Damn it, yeah, the cuckoos will also poop uh, lava, which sucks. I'm losing way too much coins. Uh, way, way too much health, I mean. And there is a place to get coins. I think it's up by the spring, though. Okay, that was much better. If I, okay, I can make it over there. I know I can. So I'm going to spin jump here. Side jump... Uh, sp S side trip and then spin jump, I meant to uh, Keep saying sp spin jump. And we are pretty much there. Uh, we basically don't have to go uh, to the underside of Pianto Village at all. See, you flood and... Um, yeah, there's the mayor. So, uh, I'll get up to the mayor and then I'll exit the stage. And then we can start the fourth method, which is the icy near on a walkthrough method. <laughs> Before. Uh, so, yeah, that you basically speak to him and he will uh, give you the... Blue transparent shines bright because uh, we've already collected it. So, yeah, I shall see you back here now for the uh, fourth method and hopefully successful one because it's a bit inconsistent. So, yeah, I shall see you here now. Okay, so hopefully this will be successful. So, uh, when you uh, come into the Pianta village now, head to the left and be careful there is a hole in the ground here. And uh, we're going to be climbing this gigantic tree. So, uh, I want soup and stews or... Yeah, these are soup and stews to appear here because I do not want them. Why did they... Um, why did they goop do that when they jump out there? I don't know. Uh, so, we're going to sneak past here and watch out for the uh, soup and stews. They will attack you here. So, um, it's kind of like luck when they will appear. So, si side flip of the tree, you will grip onto it. So, don't try and get straight onto this uh, branch just above us because it's too uh, steep and Mario will slip off so go to this one and then side flip and spin jump or just side flip if you want I've got a habit of side flipping and spin jumping them so you can uh, this is the end of the uh, branch by the way you can actually get over to um, the bottom of the platform there I'll zoom in but I cannot do that now. I've, I've only ever done it once and I'm very inconsistent with it. So just know that you can't get over to it. I am going to head over to... Oh, I'm going to slip off, aren't I? I'm going to head over to the mushroom there. I'm going to try and uh, land on the mushroom. But if not, I'm hoping that the lava will push me onto the... Um, uh, will push me onto the fence there. And I can get over to it from there. So yeah, let's just uh, side flip and spin jump over to the... Uh, mushroom i don't want to hit the fires yeah here so i'm pretty sure i can definitely get over here now um but uh when i practiced this i did land in the lava below the mushroom and it pushed me onto the fence and i just uh side flipped and uh spin jumped over to you so yeah that is the fourth method although that isn't the one i've seen on youtube the one i've seen on youtube is that they landed directly uh you know on the lower platform down there um uh, but it's the same kind of thing, just using that uh, uh, tree branch method to uh, get over to you. Now, you may be wondering which one's the best to use. Just the regular method is the best, honestly. It's the least trouble and the least difficult, in my opinion. Unless you're very consistent with these... Um, unless you're very consistent with... What the... Okay, so there's Corona Mountain, right? And Gelato Beach is right here, like directly in front, and Peanut Park's over there. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice in the night time. 
Wow, awesome. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be exed in now. And I'm going to squeeze in episode 4. Because it's a rather short episode depending on the luck, I guess. But it's not too based on luck. Um, so yeah, let's just head straight back in. And this is actually, a, it, it's kind of like the first episode ex except there's a big chomp. No? And it's pretty damn fun. I like it. I'm not going to speak to anyone though. Apart from the important uh, Piantas, because I, I again I'm squeezing this in. So uh, yeah, Pianta Village episode four, Chain Chomp's bath. So this is Chomp, and uh, yeah, he's a pretty angry Chain Chomp. So th we need to uh, pull him to that uh, pool of water there, and it is daytime. I really like this uh, stage in daytime more than nighttime. Although I usually like night times more than daytime. Hello, Mayo. What have got to uh, say now? Hey, you. We got another problem over here. Like always, Piantas are so bad at running. Uh, you know, land and stuff like that. This thing's bigger than all those pups put, put together. When it's chained up, there's no problem, of course. But when our thing's loose, we're in a heap of trouble. Oh yes, that beast sona has burnt has burnt hands. It's pitiful. So yeah, this, uh, I don't think this sign was in the first few episodes. Pianta Hot Spring open, refresh body and spirit with a dip. I think this appears here because it's telling you to, uh, you know, pull this ch uh, chomp. Uh, actually, did I do the uh, name? Well, do it now. This is called a chomp. So yes, yeah, you just can't look after your chomp bloods and chomps, can you? I'm the one who should be steamed, bad chain chomp. Maybe I should head over to Hot Spring to calm myself. So yeah, that's a little... Uh, uh, hint there. Sorry, let me just cough for a minute. <coughs> oh, my uh, throat is tickling from doing the voices and whatnot, or maybe just talking uh, all the time. So, uh, go over to this. I think you've got to press Y. Yeah, like that. And uh, you have to pull it, except we can't when it's steamed because, um, uh, you know, it's so powerful and angry. Well, it doesn't seem like they're then. Well, it will. So, I'm not going to do nothing yet. I'm going to follow it. Actually, it's going to go. Uh, Oh, that's perfect. It's going to go around to you. So, uh, side flip up to you. Did it go the other way? Oh, it did. So, we want it to come near you. So, we're going to cool it down. I'm just leaving him over there because I can't do nothing to it uh, yet anyway. So, when it comes to you, uh, start uh, cooling it down. And try and cool it down uh, anywhere you And then grab its tail and pull it into, uh, uh, into you. So... Yeah, I should be direct. I, I should be directing its path actually. So uh, I'm gonna stand here, and he should go the. Oh, but if okay, I'm gonna stand here, and it should go up that way now. Yeah, it does. Oh, and it's gonna it's gonna go round, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start cooling it down here. Wait a minute, it just went in. No, 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 no. Cool it down completely, and it uh, it will go slow, and you can pull it. I thought it was just gonna, um, I thought it was just going to, uh, you know, jump straight into the pool. That would, that's why I was so surprised then. But no, you got to pull it in, and it will turn gold and uh, a gold, um, a, a gold shine sprite. I mean, a shine sprite will appear. Very beautiful uh, uh, looking chomp now, I think. So um, yeah, let's collect the shine sprite and be down with the episode and the part. Such a fun uh, episode, I think, although I, uh, that can be annoying, but uh, yeah, very easy if you block off certain, uh, you know, routes. So uh, yeah, thanks Flood for the tip there. <laughs> I didn't know you could actually block its route and stuff like that. I thought it just, um, even if you stood in its way, it, well, it will charge you if you stand in its way, but you know, I kind of like junctions, if that's the right word for pass. But um, yes, that is it for uh, the part. We are already halfway through Pianta Village in terms of uh, Shine Sprites. Well, I guess we got the three bonus Shine Sprites, but, you know, episodes and whatnot. So uh, the next few episodes are so annoying. But uh, that is Future Bay Jack's problem. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I shall see you all in the next part. Also, I'm sorry I couldn't show that second method. Oh, damn it. <laughs>